Welcome to Ballhead and Metal, guys, and welcome back to another Pinteresia song, The Fiery Tongue. I know I, I'm killing it every single time I'm trying to pronounce their name, but it's a band that's kind of grown with me from one song to the other, with the host being a song I actually quite enjoyed. And you guys really, really recommended Fiery Tongue to be a song I should check out, especially that it was done during the quarantine with their playthrough. Let's just, just jump into it and see what we got. If you are a fan of this band, you haven't seen my reaction videos, is I tend to be quite critical if you see the other two reactions, but I still try to point out things that I like, the things I didn't like, not for the sake of shitting on the band, but more discussing the things that I, I enjoyed by looking more inwardly into how I felt about the particular music, so we can have an interesting discussion. If you have your own reaction request, let me show it down below, but with that being said, let's get into it. This is fucking kick-ass. Holy shit. I love the whole... Man, I got goosebumps. I loved her uh, whole approach with that kind of more orchestral voice. I love that they did that in the beginning, kind of giving it this kind of ominous feel to the song. And then her harsh vocals, which I already shown that how much I like them, how they just came in really, really hard. And the music is just on point. I would love so much to actually interview this band but I've, I've, before I would do that, like after the song, I think I'm just going to check out an album. I have to uh, because I, I just I'm starting to realize it's something I enjoy listening to. If I have my criticisms about music videos, their music is just fucking solid. There's such an interesting blend of things because with all the songs, I get this feeling that they're huge fans of death metal. Uh, they're huge fans of like even a call to death metal, but they're also fans of something like like black metal in there. This is just I would call this band an extreme metal band because they they've really picked from different genres and try to blend in such a way that creates I guess their unique sound for the band. Um, and I don't mean this in any kind of disrespectful way. When I say it perhaps may, may not break new ground the way something like Rage Against the Machine did, right? It's very hard to do that. There's only three or four bands that really done. The guys who've introduced black metal, death metal, things of that sort. Uh, but what they're doing within this extreme metal genre, I think it just sounds really fresh. Uh, and perhaps if I had my doubts and I had my, my criticisms at first, guys, if you could see my cat's butt, is all up in the air. <laughs> um, I kind of my doubts are dissipating more and more with each song. I like this just as much as the host. It's very different, uh, which I like their experimentation. Senorita, please. Thank you. Yeah. 
yeah, I didn't want to interrupt the solo uh, to finish and to give it the full play. But I think this is a perfect example of what I said, I think, actually in the beginning. It's one of those bands. It sometimes takes multiple songs to really understand what they're all about. Not necessarily fully understand their songwriting or whether you like it or not, but start getting an idea of what the band encompasses and truly represents. Uh, and this is the, the, the new age of extreme heavy metal that I quite enjoy. There's bands like Orbit Culture, which I like and I enjoy and I think they're good. I feel like they're a little bit overhyped. Uh, I think people just really put them on this pedestal way above and beyond, where something like Persephone and this band is something I'm wrong along the lines of what I personally enjoy. Uh, so I'm going to do the respect to the band and I'm just going to check out their album. Perhaps if the host and Fiery Tongue are in the same album, that'd be great because I, I think it'd be a surefire thing for me to know that I'm going to enjoy the album. But I'm going to look through the ones. If you guys have a recommendation, uh, I would, uh, which one I should jump in through. Perhaps I will try maybe do a full album reaction. Uh, maybe that would be cool. Uh, and again, everything I've mentioned every single time in the video in terms of the female vocalist, that I had my criticisms about the sexuality portrayal in their music videos, uh, we could disagree on that. And, and that aside, that's why you don't see me mention it anymore. I put it completely aside. She's such a badass. Uh, she really gets the, 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 the front men kind of uh, front woman, I should say, front woman kind of strength and, and, and power that she kind of brings to the songs, I think is great. Not to mention all these guys, the, the guitars, the drama, the, the bass, everything to me is top notch. It's somewhere like Persephone. When I just listened to them, I was like, whoa, this is, this is just right up my alley. That kind of Middle Eastern like uh, uh, vocals in the background Mwah, sounds really. Good. I honestly it just became like a gravy train of me praising the band. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe that's what they would obviously would love to hear. But I I didn't expect this. Uh, I I did like the host a lot. I just didn't like the music video. But the the music, yeah, I don't even know which ones I would pick. I don't. I still can't say I particularly was blown away by the first song I reacted to. But the, the second one, the host, and this is just, it's really good. Yeah, and she, her voice, her cleans that she had in the beginning, her like the orchestral sound and what she did here at the end, again, very, very nice. Very nice to kind of input into the song. Fits very well, adds to the whole vibe. Actually, with this music video, I mean, it's just a playthrough, but it's quite simple and creative. Like, hey, we're just going to play in one place. So let's just have some kind of uh, abstract visuals in the background to portray the idea of something like fire and, and red. Uh, so I think that worked. 
uh, they just wanted to make some kind of a video. I think that makes sense. Uh, I don't really particularly have any criticism of the video because we know what it is. Uh, with that being said, guys, I would love to hear from you as well, kind of your feeling about this band. You've seen me kind of grow to like them. Uh, perhaps maybe you as well, or it's just not your cup of tea. Let me know down below. And with that being said, guys, make sure you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there and keep it metal.